Oh shit. Oh, never mind. There we go. Well, um, I'm recording this in February 14th on Valentine's Day because I am incredibly lonely. And, um, but anyways, tomorrow, or at least once I post this, it'll already be February 15th. Feb What's so important about Febu February 15th, you may ask? Well, um, it's the... What was I thinking about again? Oh, right. It w it's the fifth anniversary of the last episode of Gravity Falls. Right here, I'm on Wikipedia. The strangest ass thing in the planet. Um. Oh, shit. This is kind of blurry. Like, I mean, I really. I was thinking of something big, but then I didn't have the time. So. And it's also raining over here where I live, so. It's pretty hard to do what I'm. Hey! hey. Sing some chips. Um, yeah, um. Yeah, here he goes, like, June 15th, 2012 to February 15th, 2016. You know what's trippy? You know what's trippy? This year is the fifth anniversary of Gravity Falls ending, but next year is going to be the tenth anniversary of Gravity Falls starting. That That's pretty trippy. Pretty trippy indeed. Uh, here you go. Where's there? There's only, there was only like two seasons, and like, and like the the starter pilot, but that was that was not supposed to be released. The pilot was not supposed to be released. The pilot pilot never has to be released. Technically, I mean, unless you're like in a web series or a YouTube. Um, then you do have to release the pilot to see if the audience wants it. Actually, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. I really have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, influence and legacy. Let's go. Um, I'm, I'm just going to read this. I, I have all the time in the world. Gravity Falls has been considered... Um, Sorry, and I quote, Gravity Falls has been considered to be an influence for many animated shows that follow it, including Trash, Star vs. Trash, um, I, I, I guess The Owl House is alright and Rick and Morty is God tier, S tier right there, S tier. Other examples of the show's influence include, um, yeah, uh, um, yeah, mm -hmm. and include LGBT representation and series-long story arcs as opposed to isolated single-episode stories. I mean, nowadays, all, all cartoons are basically serialized. There's not, there, there isn't a lot of, like, um, like, episodic episodes anymore. Like, I mean, Teen Titans Go! is very episodic. But, I mean, Teen Titans Go is trash, so no one gives a crap about it. The show also maintains a lo loyal and passionate fandom. Even years after the series finale, the creator of the show hit a variety of codes, cryptograms, backwards messages, and other secret clues to find for fans to find in every episode, which often contributed to the show's mysteries and lore. Some have compared Gravity Falls to more adult-oriented mystery shows like Lost, Trash, Twin Peaks, I mean, I haven't watched Twin Peaks, so I don't know, and The X-Files. While it was on the air, the show was Disney XD's highest rating rated series with, like, I remember back in the day! Um, so, like... Me and the homies would just reenact scenes like we were at the playground. Like, I had a friend, he memorized every single line, every single of Bill Cipher's lines. I have no idea how he did it. Like, I, it's impossible, bro. Like, I even, like, I even tried to make, like, a, like, a custom-made Journal 3, but then I, I, I never got to finishing it because it was trash. Um, in the summer of 2016, Gravity Falls creator Alex Hirsch threw an in, in, in an international treasure hunt known as the Cypher Hunt, the goal of which was to find the real-life Bill Cypher statue briefly... Oh my god, I can't speak today. The real-life Bill Cypher statue briefly glimpsed in the series finale after, like, the whole credit things. It began on July 20, 2016 and finished on August 3, 2016. The hunt involved retrieving and decoding riddles and codes hidden in various locations all over the world. 
One clue involved a 2,000-piece jigsaw puzzle that took several days to complete with someone almost always working on it. On August 3, 2016, the statue was found in a forest in Reed's... Reed's Sport... Bro, who names these... Who names this? Never mind, I I'm not trying to be mean. While the first ones to the statue received various prizes, Hirsch made it clear that the hunt itself was the real treasure. On August 3, the statue was removed by authorities due to a property dispute and was temporarily held at the Reed Sport Police Department while Hirsch arranged for it to be moved somewhere else. Yeah, we're just vibing over here. It's just all vibes. Oh yeah, I, I, too much dead air, too much dead air.